All right, how's everyone doing? Uh, back for another Tuesday night. Glad to uh, glad to see everybody as as always. So last week was a last week was a fun live stream. I like kind of just doing these fun, very you know you know no nothing really scheduled any of that kind of stuff. So it's it's always fun to to kind of do some of these things just because it lets me interact with you guys and and vice versa. So I mean, we'll have a few things we'll kind of talk about tonight. But uh, as always, really anything is uh, is on the table uh, with me for the most part. So uh, let me do this. Let me see some of the pre gamers who are in here, and I appreciate everybody again for uh, for being in here tonight. Let me go back. So Roy R does things first man in tonight. So Darrell, thanks, buddy. Appreciate you jumping in again. Sugar Kitty, uh, who else we got here? Steve A, RVA Whiskey. How's it going, buddy? My man Cheech, thanks for jumping in. Appreciate that as always. Uh, Christopher David, Big Vic, Josh Randall, uh, IC86. Hey, buddy. Good to see you. Um, who else we got? Josh Randall again. Eric Mays, how's it going, buddy? Uh, Katie Turk, the boss. How's it going, Katie? Good to see you. Um, Wade Ward, Wade, how's it going, my man? The brew baker maker, how's it going, Ernie? Good to see you. So, all right, cool. So glad everybody can uh, can jump in tonight. Uh, I know probably a few other people kind of filter in as we get going, which is pretty typical. So I know seven o'clock time slot for Tuesday night can kind of be a little, I don't know, maybe a little early for for some people, but it, it kind of worked for me. Hopefully, it works for for others who don't mind kind of getting in uh, a little bit uh, a little bit early. So, all right, Big Vic, you're the first one in. Appreciate it, buddy. Um, uh, let's win that bottle. Yep, good luck to you. Appreciate it as always. Thank you so much. Yeah. So I figured last week with the this is my last <laughs> my last NASIF that I've got. So I wanted to. I figured you know. I've got so much stuff here. The last thing I need is backups of backup of backup. So if I want something, I'll, I'll find it bad enough, but I figured, hell, I'll, I'll share this. I know a lot of people have a difficult time finding it. So I figured, well, last week people were pretty excited about it. So let's fire it up. Uh, let's fire it up again. So um, Whiskey Nose, how's it going? Thanks, bud. Cheers back to you. So yeah, so tonight's going to be a fun one. Uh, Jason might join us in uh, in a little while if he's got some if he's got some time, he'll pop in. And then later on tonight, uh, about 9 Central, uh, 10 o'clock uh, Eastern, uh, for patrons only, we're finally going to do our uh, Rye 3 kind of uh, Zoom tasting. So I'll have a link in my Patreon link. So if anybody wants or hasn't become a, a patron and they want to get involved in, in some of that stuff, then you know become a, become a patron. It gets you not only channel support, which I greatly appreciate, but our picks that we do uh, through Mash and Journey Whiskey Club, um, we just released or just kind of finished our our second launch of the the Four Gate uh, Toasted Barrel Rye, and I'll tell you what it, it's. I think there's only a handful of bottles left. I think I'll probably do a quick little post um, from Sealbox.com, which will be our specific pick. I don't think there's very many left. We started out with, I think, uh, roughly 160 bottles. And I think as of yesterday, there were, I think, in the teens left. So not many. So if anyone's still looking to to snatch up one of the um, the four-gate um, eight-year MGP toasted barrel rise, uh, you better do so uh, pretty quickly. They won't be around much longer. So uh, let's see what else we got here. There's my man Brazer. What the hell are you all doing here? I don't know, Brazer. Sometimes I ask my uh, I ask myself that as well. So, uh, Austin, how's it going? Cheers, buddy. Um, Chris, how's it going, my man? Good to see you as always. So yeah, so tonight's going to be a fun one. So if anyone has any questions or anything along the way, we're uh, I'm hey I'm I'm an open book. I I don't give a shit about any of that stuff. I'm. Uh, I'm here to, to have a good time and just have fun with, with you guys. So looking forward to just kind of uh, um, shooting the shit a little bit. So there's my man, Troy. Pop him. Don't watch him. If you haven't followed uh, or subscribed to his channel, please do so. Great guy. So he uh, he's doing a fantastic job with some things. And, uh, yeah, you guys, will you'll be really, really entertained with his stuff. And he's got some great whiskey as well. So, I mean, he does a fantastic job with with his review. So 
Um, all right, cool, Troy. I'm glad you got the uh, glad you got the hat. So no problem at all. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad I could get that to you. So, um, all right, what else do we have here? So, so what I've got up here is well, obviously the Rye Three. Couple of things I've got that I've got coming pretty soon. This courtesy of, of my man Brazer, who's in here right now. I just basically tomorrow I'll be doing the recording of this and I hope to have something out by Saturday. So I'm trying to figure out the order of, of what I want to have uh, released. It's either going to be the uh, PX Sherry finished uh, bourbon from Woodenville or my Makers 46 uh, cast strength, which I'll tell you what, if you can't find any of the other kind of LEs or whatever, and you can find this cast strength, I'll tell you what, it's a really, really nice, um, you know, weeded bourbon. And for me, I mean, I think this, I like the 101. I thought the 101 that they released, oh, whatever, maybe a year or so ago was really, really good. But this one, and speaking of the the four, uh, Makers 46 cast strength, uh, Lance just released his maybe a few days ago. So go check out, go, go check out whiskey tornado. He did a good job with, uh, with his review as well. So I've got, I've got this recorded already. This, I still have to do, uh, the NASA, if I've got coming, what else? I have a 1792 foolproof. I've got, that's a store pick. Um, yeah. So anyway, good stuff there, but going back to the cat, the cast strength, I'll tell you what it is. It's a really, really good bourbon. And for 55 bucks or so, you can you cannot go wrong. It is it, it is worth 55 bucks. I'll say that. For me, it's probably the best that they do outside of maybe some of the picks that they have. Those are always kind of interesting. And depending on you know which ones uh you know they have or which staves they're using, you can get those different flavors and all that. But as far as a standard you know, cast strength, you know, bourbon. I mean, this stuff will, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's blowing away any of the Weller stuff, period. I mean, it's a really, really nice, you know, cast strength bourbon. Now, again, the Weller stuff isn't cast strength. The 107 is pretty close to this. I think this is like 110, something along those lines. But other than that, I mean, it's a really, really nice, uh, well-balanced weeded bourbon. And for me, outside of maybe their, fe whatever r2 d2 or whatever the hell all their numbers and stuff are that they put on things this just as a standard release is a a really really fantastic uh bourbon so and then as is the the nasif i mean this is not only a fun sipping whiskey um but if you want to make a little higher proof cocktails it will do a really good job and i haven't made a manhattan with it yet but i think it'll do I think it'll do really, really well in a in a Manhattan. Some nice citrus notes. This batch nine is is really nice. So if if anyone, I know they're they're up upwards, you know, now in terms of the batches, but uh, this batch nine was was really nice. It's my it's my last one. So if anybody wants it, you know, get in get in on that deal. So uh, what else do I have going on? And then so later on, either on this stream or on the. Uh, the zoom that we do later for the, for the Rye three stuff. Finally, Jason and I are probably going to talk a little bit about what's maybe coming again from, from Rye three. We have kind of a couple options. We can do our cast strength um, that we did before, but with a, but with a new, um, uh, a rum finishing. So it's basically like their standard, I think 90 or hundred proof, whatever their other one was, but, that that one is now going to be potentially a cast strength that we did the rye three, but finished in the rum casks, which is is going to be fantastic. So we'll find that out a little bit later, and then or we have an option of doing a ten year straight rum pick. So we're we're kind of trying to figure out exactly in what direction we want to go as far as do we want to add something a little bit different with like a nice rum, and this will be a ten year cast strength rum and something really, really good. So Turk master. Thanks buddy. Appreciate it very much. And, um, and this is another thing I've got. So, so thanks to, to Katie and Ethan Turk, they were nice enough to send a little while back 
um, a 100% rye from Woodenville. So that one is, is being recorded basically tomorrow. So I'll have maybe four or five kind of in the, uh, kind of in the well, so to speak for releasing things. But I'll tell you what, what it is that Woodenville is doing. And if people have the ability to get some of these, I don't know if some of it's all distillery only, and maybe Ethan or Katie or Brazer, whoever's in here right now, um, that, that you guys can, I guess, let, let me know, because this one right here, this Woodenville, this PX Sherry, there's also an Oloroso Sherry that Brazier sent a sample of. So I'm looking forward to do, doing the uh, comparison. So I've got to do this one tomorrow. And what was the other one I had to do tomorrow? Uh, I can't remember, but uh, maybe it was just this one, this one. And yeah, I think that was it. So, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, so, I mean, really nice. I mean, what the, what the PX Sherry and the Oloroso, both very, very different, subtle differences, which was, which was nice, but both still very complex. I mean, I'm really, really digging what it is that Woodenville has going on. So really, really happy for, for them and kind of how far they've, they've come with things. So, all right, let me see. Hi to a few more people in here. Thanks again, Ethan. Appreciate it. Austin Feltz. How's it going? <laughs> Alex or Moose on the loose, a boot, hoose. Man, oh man, Alex. That's my brother from the north right there. So cheers, bud. Um, what else we got? The legend, Amy Bohm. Hey, Heather, how's it going? Appreciate it. Yeah, hopefully yeah, we're uh, we're almost out. I think we're down into, if, if it may even be single digits uh, now. If not, it was low teens uh, yesterday. So if anybody is looking for one of the four gate picks, make sure you... Uh, make sure you get it. So, but yeah, thanks Heather. Appreciate it. Looking and we'll do similar with the four gate that we are tonight with the Rye three. We'll have a little kind of virtual zoom or something along those lines, but uh, let's see what do we got here. Um, RVA whiskey. Thanks buddy. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. So, um, there you go. You are throwing your hat in the ring. That is, that is for sure. So good luck with that. Appreciate the, uh, the support, uh, and the super chat. Thank you, sir. Young, my man, how's it going, buddy? Good to see you. DC, my brother. How's it going, buddy? Um, JG, Tony Tutos. How's it going, bud? Wesley, how's nice to see you. <laughs> Ryan, good to see you as well. All right, I think I'm pretty caught up. So, so yeah, that's kind of what's going on uh, right now. So a lot actually going on. And if I guess, so what I'm going to start with right now is we didn't get to it at all last week. So I'll stop talking here for a second, but I want to get into just trying a few samples. So there's a lot of great people who send a lot of us samples and it's sometimes you're, you're so busy trying to just do regular reviews of things that you you just, you miss out on some of these samples. So I'm going to kind of dive into a few of these. Uh, I know in here there was stuff that Hendo sent, Ernie, the Brubaker maker. I don't even know what else is, is in this thing. So let me, um, uh, let me reach in there. There he is. There he is. The bourbon wrench. How's it going, bud? Um, Kira, good to see you. The better half of the shelf turds. Clearly the better half. Not even a, not even an argument at all. Thanks, Cheech. Appreciate it. So, all right, let me reach in here and we will see what we've got first. Okay, so first up is, I've only got a little bit of this left, but this is from, um, what do we got here? This is from Will Henderson. Hendo, this is going to be a Nash, from Nashville Barrel Company. This is a single barrel rye, 11092. So I tried this a while back, just a little bit of it. And it's a really, really nice rye whiskey. This was something I just talked to Jason a little bit about the other day about the possibility of getting with these guys and doing a uh doing a, a pick with them. They've got a lot of nice things coming, you know, cast strength, um rise. I don't know what else they've got, maybe some bourbon and some other stuff, but anyway, so this is Nashville. Barrel Company, single barrel rye, 
110.92 proof. So really excited to get back. It's been a while since I've since I've had this one. So uh, let's see who else we got here. Hey Cam, how's it going, bud? Appreciate it. Um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully you get. So Cam was the uh, the lucky winner of the uh, the NASA Family Reserve last week. So yeah, I think yours per the tracking, you should be getting yours hopefully tomorrow. So Roy, thanks, bud. I appreciate it. You're in. Can't wait to get that four gate. Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited. I mean, we haven't been as excited, uh, you know, for a pick in a in a long time. I mean, that was something that was. You know, fortunately, I had a pretty decent relationship with some of the guys at Fourgate, and they only offered it up to a, a few people. And fortunately, Jason and I were were lucky enough to kind of get in on that deal and, and be able to really share something that we think is is pretty special with with everybody else. So, yeah, cheers, Roy. I appreciate it. Um, what else we have here? How's it going, DC? Good to see you as always, bud. Appreciate it. Yes, yeah, so tonight is uh, finally our Rye 3 night. So we'll be doing that over on uh, Zoom. Uh, we'll do that for patrons only. And the link has already been sent in my Patreon, my Patreon page and, and Jason's. So just go check for the, the Zoom link in there. And you can be on video. You don't have to be whatever whatever you guys want to do. So, oh, man, boy, that's that's pretty intense right there. It's coming off a little hot, 110 proof so far. Really nice, nice mint. This is this is um, this is one of those companies I've kind of seen really in the last maybe six months or so really pop up and and seem to be doing an awful lot with, you know, barrel picks and things like that. I would love to get to get my hands on um, some of some of those. So, Jeffrey Wack, I'm still mad at you. He killed me last week. Last Friday, I did a um. <laughs> I did a, a live stream with um, uh, Dave and Griff over at cigarclub.com and, and Jeffrey. And so we were smoking cigars and doing a, a, a blind tasting and he sent all finished whiskeys. I could not pick up any finish on any of those whatsoever. And I'm convinced, I mean, clearly that the, the cigar and tobacco, whatever it was, was killing the was just killing the finish for me anyway, but no excuses. They, uh, they pulled it out and, and I once against law or one, once again, lost, which I'm horrible at blinds. I know exactly what it is. I like when I try it and taste it, but, um, I don't know, whatever it is, what it is blinds are not my, not my forte. That is, that is for sure. So, um, hi Karen. Good to see you as always. Uh, I don't know if Karen got one of the the four gates, but I know she's a big four gate uh, fan as well. So if you, if you didn't, you want one, I think there's a couple, a couple left. I'll, I'll double check and see if I can find some and throw the link up for you guys um, as well. So uh, what else we got here? Um, Josh, thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, I won't make it to the end, but uh, anyone that knows me, let me know. I won. I can feel it tonight. There you are. Hopefully, hopefully you are. Uh, well, you're definitely in it to win it. Uh, appreciate the uh, the super chat. Thanks, bud. And yeah, you can always go back and watch the replay, and and we'll announce it at the end. Hopefully, one of the mods. I don't know if if anyone in here is keeping track or wouldn't mind keeping track, but it's it's nearly impossible to to keep track of everybody. So if if one of the mods can can kind of keep track of the the super chats will run a uh, little randomizer at the end. So just someone let me know if they're able to kind of keep an eye on that stuff. I would greatly appreciate it. So, um, all right. What do you got here, Jeff? Yeah. I mean, I, I always, I always enjoy the, I always enjoy the flights. It's one of those things where I just, I don't know what it is with flights. I blind flights. I, I've always struggled with the damn things. I, I know what I like, that's for sure. And um, but when it comes to blinds, it is not my it is not my thing. So yeah, I as always, I mean, hey, I'm not really mad. I mean, I'm just kidding, but I I love doing I love doing those things and just having fun and you know, all of all of that. Any anytime I can do anything to interact with everybody, I um I'm all for it. So there's my man Todd Ritter. Good to see you, buddy. 
Thanks, Aim. I appreciate it. Uh, it's so it, it's like impossible to try to keep up with the the super chats and and all of that. So thanks, Amy. I uh, I greatly appreciate it. So, um, what else we got? JP, what does JP say? Uh, here in Cali, uh, please vote the four gate link and bourbon doesn't make it far. Yeah. So if, let me just do this real quick here. Give me one second. I will go and I will find the, I'll find the link. I don't think anyone's posted it. I'll do that here real quick. Give me one second and I will bring up the seal box stuff. And then that way I can give you, and I don't even, I think like as of just a little while ago, there were still a few left, but I don't know. I don't know what's available right now. So I'll just link this right here. Copy this. Okay. So I'll put up the, so this is the link to the, this is the link to the four gate, uh, the mash and journey four gate pick. So there you have it. I'll keep that one. I'll keep that one up. So if anybody wants it, I don't know what's available right now, but as of yesterday, there weren't, there weren't very many, uh, left. So, but we're super excited for for that one as well. Hopefully they'll start shipping sometime this week. Um, uh, maybe depending on where you are, I think they all ship from like Washington DC where a lot of stuff comes from, but uh, maybe if you're on the East coast, you might get yours a little bit sooner, but for everybody else, it might take a little longer, maybe into, in the next, in the next week. So, um, all right, what else we have here? I thought I had to sneeze there for a second. I probably do. Okay, good. So mine hasn't shipped yet. So I've got a few, I've got a few coming my way. I wanted to have a uh, a few backups of, of that one as well. So good, Aaron, I'll, I'll be interested to hear what, uh, what you think of, of that one. So yeah. And JP, thanks. Appreciate the support. Um, I mean, the one thing that we liked about it when we had the opportunity to pick it was just the ability to get not only an eight year MGP rye, which are quickly and slowly going away, but to then be able to add it for a month in a, a, new toasted barrel, which is, you know, even more cost to do. We, we jumped at the opportunity to, to select it. So we were, we were happy to, to be able to do it. We know it's a little bit on the, on the pricey side and four gate stuff, you know, typically is, but everything that they do, I mean, it is first class. I mean, the bottles are great, the labeling, the little, the little wooden neck tag that they've got going. So um, they really put an awful lot of of energy and time and, and effort and all of that stuff into everything that they do, the sourcing that they do. They're really doing a good job with sourcing some, some really nice whiskey. So, all right, Wade, thanks. Um, cheers to Sealbox customer service with shipping support uh, for those of us who have to pick up bottles. Yeah. From Washington, DC. So yeah, fortunately we were able to, to kind of work out a, um, Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. That site is, oh, that's password protected. You know what? I thought they opened that up. It should be, uh, what is it? All right, give me give me one second here. Let me go back to, to that. I'm trying to figure out what the, what my password was for that. Um, so the password is gonna be, um, it's it's M and the, so the like the and sign so M and J barrel so that's the password to to get into that so I didn't know that it looked like they had it live on their on their website apparently not I guess it's still password protected but anyway so that's what it is so it's uh, M and J I'm just gonna type that in there right now so you guys have it so uh, let's put that in there so. Four gate pick password M and J barrel. All right, there you go. So anybody who wants the there, thanks, Cheech. Appreciate it. You beat me to the punch. Um, 
So let's see what else we have. Um, <laughs> thanks, Jeff. I appreciate it. So, uh, so excited for the four gate pick, uh, all toasted MGP rye. Yeah. And I feel bad because when we were doing the, the blind last week, I made mention prior to even getting into all this stuff to Dave and Griff, how much I really enjoy a toasted barrel rye a little more so than I do a toasted barrel, uh, bourbon. I think the toasted does a little bit more and just offers a little bit more of a unique profile on a rye than it does a, a bourbon. But again, that's, that's my, that's my opinion. So, but I, I really enjoy it. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, when you start getting into those like eight, nine year ish rise, especially MGP, this is where some of their stuff really starts to, to shine. And when you get the, when you add that toasted aspect to it, you know, I like that marshmallow, that coconut, a lot of those like vanillas really do something well to, to a nice rye whiskey. So um, I'm really, really looking forward to getting those bottles and, and opening them up. And I think what we'll probably do is as people get them, we'll start to, uh, we'll start to, um, you know, let them open up a little bit. I think toasted barrel stuff generally, personally, that they need a little bit of time to, to just open up, let a little bit of air hit those things. And they really, really do well. So, all right, we're 26 minutes in and I haven't even had a sip of anything because I just keep flapping my gums. So, all right. So again, I'm sure people have forgotten what in the world it is or don't even know. So I've got a Nat from Nashville Barrel Company. This is a single barrel rye, 110.92 proof. Really, really looking forward to this one. Yeah, I mean, I'd say there's that classic, classic MGP, nice mint, slight dill. It's never, my experience with MGP rise, it's never heavy dill to the point where it's, it's off-putting because I'm not a huge uh, dill fan when it comes to rise and MGP stuff just has that nice balance. It quickly gets minty with a little bit more of that like candied rye aspect. Still the rye shines through, but it's, it's just such a great rye whiskey. That 95.5 rye mash bill, I mean, it's no wonder that so many people buy it and bottle it and, and do all of those things. It's, it's absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So don't know what any of the ages on these are. I think these are a little, I think these are maybe a, a little bit younger. I don't think Hendo's in here tonight, but um, if, if he was, I could probably, let me do this here. So we've got, yeah, I don't know if I don't think he's I don't think he's in here tonight, but I could have him tell us a little bit more about the um, about the Nashville Barrel Company. But again, I know they're sourcing all of their stuff through through MGP, and the vast majority of everything that they do, I believe, is is all MGP sourced. So, uh, and and um, and rye. I don't. I think they might have some bourbon. I just don't know exactly what it is. I don't know that much about them, but I know that I'd like to get my hands on some of their their rye picks. Let me add some of that. We, uh, we know what we like and we know that, um, uh, that hopefully you guys are, are going to really like what, what it is that we've got coming. So, um, yeah. Okay. So about a hundred bucks. So, and again, I think you're getting again, cast strength. I don't know if there is any finishing. I don't think there's really any of that stuff. All right. Here's the, uh, Here's the other half of the uh, the mash and journey. Let me bring in uh, let me bring in the uh, the cannoli himself. There he is. Let me uh, look at this guy. Got it all. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you fine. Can you hear me, man? Okay, good, good. You were you were si you were silent. I'm not used to just looking at you without you uh, not saying anything. You you stumped me there for a second. Ah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so I was just flapping away. 29 minutes in and. Uh, I, uh, I've, we've kind of covered a lot. We talked a little bit about the, the four gate stuff, the ride three stuff that we've got, uh, got going on. Anything, uh, anything you, you got on the top of your head that you want to share with everyone right away? Uh, 
I haven't even told you this yet, but we I just got I got off the phone today with Penelope Bourbon. Oh. Uh, so Mike from Penelope. So it looks like they're gonna we're gonna be doing something with them. I, I don't know exactly what, but they have some fun things up their sleeve that we might be able to do something really unique with them. So I'm excited. Uh, I'll fill you in later uh, on the okay. Zoom call. So yeah, it'll be pretty cool. Yeah. Well, we're looking we're looking forward to that. Here was like this this was a good one right here. The mash and oh no wait hang on where was that? I saw a good comment. Um, I see Chris Buzalensi that writes Jason good vibes. That's all I care about. <laughs> <laughs> Hawk and cannoli, Ethan Turner. That's what it was. Yeah, Hawk and cannoli. Yeah, Hawk <laughs> and cannoli. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. So yeah, no, we were we were just talking before. So right now, I I just dug into the sample box and I just randomly pulled out the from Nashville Barrel Company that you and I were talking about the other night. This is a single barrel rye coming in at one hundred and ten point nine two proof. So which one's that one? This is Nashville Barrel Company. This was Hendo sent this to me a while back. But this is this is again this is gonna be a ninety five five. Oh, good old um, Hendo. Good old I don't know what the I don't know what the ages on the Nashville stuff are. Probably I don't know maybe that five maybe five six years. I'm not exactly sure. But I actually have a um, I have a I have a tasting box they sent me. Let me see if it has any of the ages on there. Hold on. Yeah, I'd be interested to see uh, what some of that stuff is because this. This right here has a really nice, really nice profile. Very, very typical of, of MGP. Slight dill, more mint, but there's always that candy aspect, especially when you get cast strength. That's one of the things that is the is the difference between their standard 95.5 stuff and just, you know, um, uh, and the cast strength stuff. It's completely different. So thank you, Heather. Appreciate it. Still want that NASA bottle. You are in it to win it. What's up, guy? RVA whiskey. What's up, man? Hope you're enjoying that uh, that Weller foolproof. Oh, um, well, RVA RVA won it, hey? Yeah, he won that. All right, cool, proof, man. Cool, awesome, awesome. Um, so here, Nashville Barrel Company sent me this cool uh, this cool box, and it um it opens up and it's there. Was there any which barrel are you picking? Was there any whiskey in it, or is it just a box? No, I had two bottles in it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's better than a. It's better than a. You know what in a box. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so their small batch mm -hmm. rye whiskey, which is batch two, is a. Uh, it's non H stated, but it is a hundred proof. Now their straight rye single barrel, though, mm -hmm. as you can see, is a uh, has a nice little age statement on it. Let me see if that focuses in. There you go. Seven years. Okay, seven years. Okay, good. So. Yeah. We're getting we're getting into that into that category of nice age, a really nice age on on MGP stuff. Like this is where their stuff really begins to shine, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, <laughs> RVA says Jason it pairs well. Yeah, I sent him some Mike and Ikes with the. Uh, with, <laughs> you know, you're not always the throw off the chipping guys. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. All right, Sugar yeah. Kitty, you're in it. You're in it. So what are you uh, what are you giving away tonight, buddy? So tonight we're just doing the, the NASA family reserve. So I did the one last week and, and a lot of people, I didn't realize how, is that, how, is that the bottle you got for me or giving it away? Uh, yeah, you didn't want it. You're done. So you don't need any more whiskey anyway. What are you talking about? <laughs> get out of here. If you need, if you need more, I'll give you, I'll get you more. So, <laughs> okay. uh, so yeah, so I'll give away. This is, this is my last one. And, and I didn't realize how, how tough for a lot of people, it is to it is to get. I thought it was a lot of places, but apparently that's not the case. Nah, I mean the the obtainiums, the NASA flight whiskeys, they're not in a ton of places yet. I mean they're pretty, you know, they're they're a newer, you know, sourcing distillery. So, yeah. um, on on uh, on Facebook, he he announced that he was uh, that NASA is working on a um, a rum. Yeah, he um, um, like, well, rum, he like I think one is finished in ex bourbon, one is finished in something else. Just yeah, some some. Crazy shit. Yeah. So last week when uh, Gene knew I was giving away a bottle, so I asked him, I'm like, hey, you want to come on and talk about it for a minute? So he probably popped in for about 20 minutes. We talked about some of the things that they had going on. And then, yeah, he kind of let the yeah. cat out of the bag that he was, that they're going to be sourcing a, uh, a rum. And one of the nice things about what they do is they really get things in quickly and out. There's not a big, a big delay in, and them sitting on things, they really get the stuff in and get it out to market, which is is pretty cool. So, there's the man himself. There's Will Hendo Henderson. Yeah. So we were just talking about you. So we're uh, 
and Brazzers and Amy. Yeah, Brazzers, all the good, all the good people in here tonight. So Hendo, right now we're sipping on some of your uh, Nashville Barrel, the single barrel, our Nashville Barrel Company. Nice man, you got uh, all the all you got all the all stars in the chat tonight. You got yeah, the, this is all this this is, fancy, this is a, the, the fancy franchies, brazers, cheeches. They're Cheech, all Cheech and his Artelinos is here. <laughs> They're everyone's <free> everyone's <laughs> in here. The whack the waxery killed me last week with that what? with that finished flight, but uh, we had a we had a good time. He did, did kind of get you. He did we had a good time. That. <laughs> it killed me. It killed me. I, I realized very quickly how how finished whiskeys aren't for me the greatest like pairing type of things. Um, it just, it killed a lot of the finish that I had on, on just about everything I was trying. I could not pick it up. We were all kind of struggling with it and it was just, it was, it was difficult. So. Oh, no worries. Thanks, Marie. No worries, Steve. I'll, I'll message you later. Don't worry about it. Nothing important. Um, what, what about the Can the Canada pick? <laughs> Are we doing the, a Canada, a Canadian, a whiskey pick? I don't know. I don't think so. Not that I know of, unless I miss. You know something, what? But... I would not. I would not be opposed to source to trying to find like a Canadian cast strength rye because some of that shit is really good. Yeah, some of it is. I mean, hey, I mean, honestly, uh, well, I mean, part of that is what's in the obtainium stuff. The Nassif, it's all all Alberta. Same yeah. thing with the rye three. A lot of these light whiskeys, they're all these, um, you know, some Alberta rye and all of that that gets blended in with a lot of these. Um, I think there's probably a fair amount of it, but what was the one that they released last year? Um, that was fairly affordable, maybe 65 bucks, Alberta premium. Yeah. Alberta premium. Really good. rye. Really good. Yeah. Rye. You know? uh, Katie, Katie Turk has an interesting question for you. I already told you to, to work on this man. All right. So uh, any possibility of a difference? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can, I, I'm, I'm 100% positive we can do a a, a driftless i'll tell you what when you start getting into their their 125 proof stuff and now that it's getting a little bit older um it's really good i mean you can trick people like you know bourbon experts like the uh the mash and drum you know Dude, you you, uh, yeah when you blinded me i mean that that one i picked out was absolutely fantastic yeah really I mean, good they're they they really have rounded out as they've gotten a little bit older and those higher proofs i mean it's it's a really, really nice, it's a really nice bourbon. Now, I mean, you can't, you can't get fooled that it's maybe necessarily a, a Kentucky or MGP, something no, along it, those it, lines. It tastes, it tastes and smells like a craft whiskey, but the flavor on it is insane. It's really good. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of, I think now that we've gotten, you know, several years in, there's a lot of these, these craft distillers that, they're they're either going to make it or they're not at this point. Now that some of their stuff is starting to get a little bit of age to it, it's either going to be good and and drinkable or 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 not, and they're probably just not going to last very long. But you know, I know you're doing a video on kind of some of the top craft. Yeah, um, that that, that video that that video should drop Monday. It's my uh, it's it's kind of like because I think we've we've kind of passed the you know, the era of, I don't think you could really call wilderness trail Woodenville. No, I don't really think they're craft anymore. Those guys are peerless. Those guys have all passed the point of, you know, smaller craft mm -hmm. distilleries. They're making enough stuff. Now. I think now it's like the next wave, like who's coming in. So that's yeah. what my, that's what my, um, that's what my, uh, that my Monday video is going to be about. Yeah. And there's some really, there's some really good ones. I mean, we even have by us like another one, they don't get maybe as much talk. They used to be the head one, but you know, Driftless Glen's kind of taken over. Yeah. Um, but um, geez, what was the uh, the one I got you a bottle of? Uh, Jay Henry. Oh so yeah, the they, Jay Henrys are fantastic too, and that's they, another... they they do some they do some really really good stuff as well. And um, yeah. I, I think it's 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 just something I you've got some good ones by you. Hey, when we were in Kentucky. When those guys brought some of the stuff in from Columbus, yeah, mid, uh, Middle West Spirit. So that's that's they're actually part of my video on Monday as well. I'm doing kind of a um, a call out as far as you know something local. Mm -hmm. uh, I always think it's good to you know it's always great to try different bourbons and whiskeys from all over the country. But you know I always feel like you should support someone local. I did a spotlight on Watershed Distillery, which is doing some great stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and now my next my next call I think would be Middle West. Um, Hey Jason, trying to 
when that bottle you gave Scotty to his brother. <laughs> he did. He didn't get. He didn't give it to me. I didn't give it to him. <laughs> That's what. Yeah. He I just kept it. I just kept it. Yeah. So JG, JG has a good idea. We'll do a crown peach single barrel. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Uh, not sure how. Not really sure how that one's gonna go, but probably get a little peachy on that one. So, <laughs> um, what else we got? So yeah, we were we were just talking before about some things like the um, the Woodenville. Like I mean, they're doing some fantastic things. This is their PX sherry finished one that they i think yeah i don't i think it's a distillery only i'm not sure um and there's a an oloroso one that they did and then we were talking a little bit about the 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 makers 46 cast strength which is fantastic i think if you can't find like the like the le r2d2 releases or whatever those are <laughs> then like this is this is very close i mean i think these are a really nice cast strength weeded bourbon for for 55 bucks you yeah. know I, listen, I don't think I, there's. I'm a, I love what Makers is doing right now. I think. Uh, remember, Denny Potter moved over from he Heaven Hill over to Makers Mark. I think he's doing yep. a fantastic job. Um, you know, bringing out some of this stuff, all the the innovations they're doing with the finishing series, and uh, you know, bringing out some more uh, like these 46 cast strength versions. Yeah, I think it'll be cool. Yeah, it's it's nice to see them finally doing these, and it's it's such a classy bottle. It really stands out. Looks nice. It looks. It looks like it should be kind of an expensive, you know, whiskey, but you know, these are, these are fairly affordable again for a cast strength. Uh, I don't think much of their stuff has a lot of age. That's the one thing I think people have a little bit of an issue with, but Hey, at yeah. the end of the day, if it's good, it's good, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that cast, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the finished Woodenvilles, that PX one is awesome. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, well, that's, this is the one I've got to record tomorrow yeah. and there's one other, i think the 1792 but i've done some some other ones so i'm trying to get a few a few bank just because being busy in the in the summer you don't have time to record all of them so you might yeah. be able to tell by the time i get to my fifth recording i might be slurring some of my words so you should <laughs> you'll be you'll be you'll you'll be able to tell you'll be able to tell which one the uh the fifth recording was so uh, so dc in the chat i actually i have the templeton 10 year rye on the way to me right now so once I get it, I'll definitely film a video. The, the Templeton, the new bottle designs are awesome. Yeah, I, I think I think they're probably trying to break away a little bit from the old stigma. You know, they got a kind of a bad rap for a while. Oh, um, they, they totally did. I mean, you know, and, and with good reason. Yeah, you know, yeah. the story, the story they made up, it, it was all bullshit. So yeah, um, yeah, you know, I think you're trying to, I think they're trying to kind of maybe reform that you know, that image a little bit and uh, maybe tell a little bit of a different story. Yeah. Um, so yeah, David Freeman, French lick pick. So I can, tell you, <laughs> I can tell you guys that that is, that's happening. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Scotty and I landed a spirits of French lick pick. I think we're going to try to pick it sometime. I know we're trying to work out the schedule, but September uh, sometime in the fall, we're going to pick it. Um, we, we don't know what we're going to, we're going to pick though. <laughs> we, we know, we know, we know, knowing Alan, we know, and him talking to us, we know it'll be something different, unique, delicious. So we, we have no idea what in the world the mad scientist will, will break out. On yeah. He's day. got his barrel manager told me about a few things that he had brewing. So I'm not sure what he's going to have available for us. And she already said, um, she already said was like, God knows what he's going to have you guys taste and what yeah. what's around the warehouse. What he's he's got stuff brewing everywhere. So um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go to the distillery and we're gonna do a little bit of a lick pick. Should be great. <laughs> yeah, gotta be careful when you talk about that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, ADHD, ADHD whiskey in the chat already wrote unsolicited unsolicited lick pick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we have to be very we have to be very careful with that. That's uh, a yeah. This, that, this could be a unique, if we had a sticker, this could be a unique uh, sticker opportunity right here. So, yeah, but yeah, uh, let me go back. I want to see Brazer had the, um, or did he have that before? He had mentioned something about, there it is. Oh no, that's not it. Anyway, I think he had mentioned that the, the, uh, the PX was like a, I thought he said spring release at the distillery. But these are the things I think with like Woodenville and even some of the, the ones that we think of as craft or maybe breaking out of the craft uh, industry that these will start to become releases that 
that will start to get out to more people. This, it won't just be distillery only. So I'm pretty confident that, you know, maybe PX, some of the Oloroso, uh, that 100% cat, uh, cast strength rye that they have is absolutely incredible. So I'll still do the reviews of, of those because I'm pretty confident that, that those will end up being some fairly, not just distillery only, uh, kinds yeah. of, of releases. So. Hey man, did you buy it? Speaking of rye whiskeys, did you see the uh, the Old Forester single barrel rye are already the first one hit secondary today, and someone was trying to move it for like four hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> and I'm sure it was probably within a very short period of time that someone he binned it, and they they bought it for four hundred and fifty bucks, and you know they probably never thought they'd see it again, and maybe in a few months it'll be on every shelf. I don't know that, but. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, Cameron. Cameron Locker in the chat. Yeah, Fred. Fuck your train, Minick. Just did a video on Maker's Twelve Year Barrels sitting on their warehouse. Maybe the best bourbon there. Yeah, he told a story on one of the uh, on this is um, uh, on the the bourbon podcast, uh, Bourbon Pursuit, and he told this whole story of how he uh, he had like an event and um, he he was you know for whatever reason he couldn't. You know, he wasn't getting a lot of like traction for it. And then I think he somehow convinced Maker's Mark at the time, uh, uh, one of the uh, Bill Samuels Jr. to bring like a tw like try a 12 year, yeah. try a 12 year Maker's Mark. Yeah. And he brought it in and uh, everybody went bananas for it. And uh, Fred Minnick said that it was like one of the best bourbons he'd ever tried, which is, which is interesting because I've always heard that Maker's doesn't want to release anything over six years old because the theory was, is that their, their bourbons never do well over that age. Yeah. But then we're hearing like this 12 year stuff is phenomenal. So I have yeah. no clue, no clue. Yeah. I just kind of always wondered like with their stuff, they, you know, they, they definitely do not like deviate very far from like the, the traditional part of, of makers. I mean, for them to release their one oh one and then kind of like, some of the, the, the LE type of stuff. I mean, I'm glad to see that they are starting to kind of expand some of that, but yeah, I mean, whether or not we'll ever see anything with like, you know, ultra age stuff, I, I don't know. I mean, it'd be nice, but um, yeah, I don't know. So, uh, all right. What's JG say? Um, I, I met a Templeton rep. Um, one reason for changing the bottle was that the other bottle has, uh, what is that? For the cork. Oh, propensity for corks. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. It filled yeah, too I, high. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, that is interesting. I I didn't I haven't heard that, but um, yeah, in that video, everyone was loving it, but Bill Samuels was up there saying he didn't like it. Yeah, I remember that in the video in the uh, in the in the podcast as well. Yeah, Colin Yep. You know what? Speaking of Minnick, I think he just was either either reviewed it or talked about the the old forester single barrel rye and he was not a fan of it. Yeah, he wasn't a, yeah, he wasn't a fan of it. And now remember the the I reviewed it and really liked it, uh, but based on the sample that I was given, now you never know what single barrel they'll send me. Right. Right. Uh, or or media outlet. So just I'm just saying, you know, and I said that in the video too. Remember it's a single barrel. We don't know if they're all going to taste like this. Hopefully they do. Right. You never know. Yeah, that's the thing with a single barrel. Like, I mean, it literally will be different. I mean, you cannot compare one barrel next to them. I mean, maybe you'll have some similarities, but other yeah. than that, you are going to have some some subtle differences with. Yeah, them. I know. I know the Bourbon Wrench. I know Trev is dying for a Maker's Mark twelve year because he loves him some Maker's Mark. Yeah, I, hey, I'm, I I really like. I mean, I think I think for a while there. I mean, outside of their regular stuff and. I wasn't a super big fan of just the standard like 46, but I think when they stepped it up to that, that kind of like special release, that 101, it started getting good. Like I liked their stuff at a little higher proof. And then that cast strength 46, this is really, this is really nice as this thing opens up. And I know you guys and a lot of other people rave about the, the R2D2 ones and it's, it's, <laughs> And rightfully so. I've never had one, but you don't hear many people say many bad things about. You never them. had them though. I've never, never had one of them. No, oh, dude. I'm gonna. I'll send you. I've samples. never had. I'm, I'm gonna send you samples of all the last three releases. You could do a. You could do a whole video on all three and see. I yeah. mean, when you do them all back to back, it's amazing how different they are. Yeah, that's that's interesting. I, I've never had any of their like. What do they call it? Like wood finishing series or whatever it's it is. Their wood finishing series. Uh, yeah. yeah. So they're actually releasing two this year. 
they had the FEE-01, which was uh, the, um, you know, the, uh, I guess the beginning of the year release. And then in the fall, there's going to be an FAE-02. Um, okay. So we'll get two of those releases this year. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's one of those things that just, I don't know if it, it really ever gets here. I just don't see it or whatever it is, but I just, I, I don't even run across them at all. And and I saw the cat, the makers 46 cast strength at Costco. And I'm like, Holy cow. I had never even seen this really around. So I don't know, maybe it's a good sign that we're starting to see some of that stuff. But, yeah. What, uh, what would you, I mean, why wouldn't makers want to bring out an ultra age, break, especially today when everyone is just, you know, tatering out over, you know, making tater salad over age statements. You know what I mean? You know, you get a nice you know, age, age statement. Like if there was a makers 12 or makers 10 year that hit the market, do, I mean, you can't tell me that people would go absolutely ape shit for that. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, people, yeah, it would be another one of these things similar to like probably the old Forrester ride that's happening. You know, people would, people would go crazy for it, but um, I mean, but because it's so rare, like, we haven't seen a, a high age stated makers, I, I think, ever. So I, I just I just wonder if makers likes the lane that they're in. Like they're very traditional and they're very kind of like a a classic kind of company where they just their their thing is is the straight and narrow. Like we're just not gonna deviate. Like it was a real big deal when 46 came out. Like that was them like really doing something crazy. You know? Yeah, it is. It's all about tradition, and but and I think Denny Potter is, you know, he worked in Maker's Mark. You know, he when he was that was one of his first jobs. He started out there. Yeah, uh, kind of came full circle. Then he was at Heaven Hill for years. Uh, then when he got there, he got kind of the 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 opportunity to return home back to Maker's Mark. Yeah, you know, he took it. It was kind of like his baby. He wanted to go back there, and and uh, and now as you know the the new, you know, just kind of running all operations there. It's crazy. Yeah. So, um, hey, Jason, have you heard what Makers is finishing the O2 with this year? Um, it's it's like a variation on already what they did with the FAE one. Not really sure. So, uh, I, I don't I don't think I read a description on it just yet. The FAE one was supposed to bring out a lot of fruit flavors, and and it definitely did. Uh, I don't know if the FAE two is going to do the same thing or in a different variation of that. So, well, I know like we were talking to some guys when we were in Kentucky doing some picks that that mocha stave um, was going away, but there's still something else that's either the yeah, same or still similar. A mocha the stave. They're just, they're just rebranding yeah. it. Yeah. 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 But the mocha so. stave, the mocha stave is still that they're just rebranding it to, I, re I forgot what the name was, but yeah. Yeah. I forget. I forget what it was as well. So, yeah. um, yeah, Amy Bohm said Trev and I would lose our damn mind. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I think and I think a lot of people would. I mean, it would be nice to see like a 12-year makers. I mean, just even for some people to get a shot at it or just having yeah. a, a chance to try to see what that profile would be like from makers would be uh would be a pretty interesting thing. So we gotta get the Scotty. If we ever do, if we ever pull the trigger and do a makers pick, we we gotta we gotta get uh we <laughs> We got to get the bourbon wrench involved. Yeah. And if we get, if we get, even if we get like Amy Bohm and also Hendo to come and do those, like do a, do a maker's pick. Oh my yeah. God. Their minds, would, <laughs> their, their minds would blow up. Yeah. I mean, it, it would be fun. I mean, I think that's the thing. I mean, I know there's a lot of them, but still, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, like us or whoever else would be involved, you know, we're still kind of crafting our own, our own blend. So that's kind of a cool, a cool thing as well. So uh, I guess I shouldn't say blend, but you know, I mean, hey, we're we're picking a a single barrel, so it's gonna be it's gonna be unique to to us. So yeah, look at the bourbon wrench. I would literally act like those people chasing blends if I had the chance to go over some old makers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, stay tuned, stay tuned, Trev. We'll. So, uh, I, just, uh, so I got I got the uh, what's on the shelf Wednesday coming back tomorrow. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. Um, and so I reviewed this this new guy. Oh. This is the new Evan Williams 1783 oh, yeah. that they just they just bumped it up to 90 proof from the original 86. And dude, I'm telling you. So did, uh, that, did, did that just did that just come to your area? 
Yeah, so they they so Evan Williams is doing a whole rebrand. They they re yep. already rebranded the Bowden and Bond and the regular Evan Williams. They just rebranded the 1783. Mm -hmm. They also brought it back to the original proof point of 90 rather than 80. Uh, excuse me, rather than 86. Okay. Holy shit, dude, that's an impressive. I think that's going to be a bourbon that you could blind people with and put it up against some like some higher price hitters, and that actually might take them down. Really, that's interesting. Yeah. And what and what's the what's the proof on it? It's a uh, ninety proof. So it's ninety, a 90 proof? proof. Okay. Yeah, ninety proof. So it's uh it's a blend of six to eight years old eight year old uh, barrels. Uh, ninety proof. Uh, the batch size they said is less than three hundred barrels, which is still okay. a shit ton. Which is still a shit ton of barrels. Yeah, but hey, good 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 ages. You know, ninety proof, good sipping proof. If you don't need to be blown away with whatever, but hey, I mean the flavor and complexity yeah. is what you're looking for. So. Prescription bourbon. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Yes, you are in the uh, you're in the running for the NASA. Thanks. Hey, Haywood, Haywood Jablomi is in the house. That's nice to see. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> not really, I'm not really sure what you just said right there, but <laughs> I, hey, pop him to watch him is in the house. Maker's Mark picks come with really cool swag items. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, Cheech, we can uh, we can try to squeeze you in. The one thing we kind of ran into now was still with some of the COVID regulations. They they were only limiting it to like basically two other people. Yeah, uh, yeah. A lot of the distillers were kind of. I mean, but hopefully, as we get further into next year, those lift yeah. a little bit. So we'll see. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that, uh, that was, that's the one thing with the. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. The new state is roasted French mendiant. Yeah. Okay. Well, wait a. That's wait a, a, hell of a that's a hell of a way to rebrand Mocha. <laughs> way to way to way for makers to make it even more difficult. They've already got their R two D two. Now we got R two D two roasted French. <laughs> what is it roasted? Yeah, so it's R two D two roasted French mandolin, <laughs> Mandalorian, Mandalorian. That's what it is. All right, so so basically, if we ever do a, a maker's pick, we're just gonna do a whole Star Wars theme. Yeah, we'll have to do a Star Wars. This <laughs> could be like the, the the Mandalorian, or I don't even know yeah. what. Yeah, yeah, it'll have yeah. to be something. But um, all right, so okay, so everybody, so anyone who's unfortunately not a patron as of right now, if you are. In about, uh, what, another hour or so, we're going to go over to Zoom through Patreon. We're going to do our, our Rye 3. Finally, we're going to do our, our Rye 3 tasting with everybody who uh, wants to join in and uh, and sip along. It's it's something that we've been looking forward to, to doing. And we just kind of talked about it a little bit today and threw this thing together last minute. But um, it should be uh, should be a good time. Actually, speaking of that, maybe I'll, I'll pour a little bit right now and... Uh, get ready I'm for that to, one so trying to see what i want to pour next real quick i don't know um so yeah okay so we're getting close to the time so if anybody wants in again on the nasif um throw in whatever super chat you want i don't care and uh we'll uh we'll get you in the get you in the running for it and then i'll i'll have, have amy let me know how many uh how many entrants there are and then we'll do a uh we'll do a little randomizer so hey so scotty so last week i talked about on my channel i want to get your take what, what's your yeah. take what's your take on four roses suspending the stickers on the picks um you know i know you and i chatted about it a little bit but i get it i it's kind of a, it's kind of a little bit of a, a mixed bag for me i get what it is that they're trying to do where they don't want a bunch of like nasty types of, of things like on these stickers. Like I, I, I honestly think that if there wouldn't have been maybe some things that they felt were inappropriate, that this wouldn't be much of an issue in addition to, I mean, think of all the pics and, and the, the copyright stuff that people just use these images of different, you know, brands and, and all of that without permission so there's those sides of things. And I think this is probably just Four Roses just trying to kind of somehow separate themselves from, from that part of it. But I, I get it. I think this is more than just one or two issues. I think this is just a little bit of them trying to kind of protect their brand and say to other people, hey, I get we, it, man. I just don't want it to I just don't want it to bleed out to other distilleries because doing the stickers is a lot of fun, you know. I think it it really kind of makes the uh, makes the the experience just a lot better. Yeah, uh, I mean it is. It's it's fun. It's a fun spin. And I know people have said, well, if you buy a pair of Nikes and you can put whatever you want on it, there's nothing they can do. I think at the end of the day, I don't think there's like if you put a sticker on a Four Roses bottle, I don't necessarily know that there's anything that Four Roses could do. Now, whether or not the company that you're infringing on, in terms of their their branding. 
maybe there's something they could do from a legal standpoint. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer, but um, you know, maybe there's maybe there's something along those lines. So I think this is just more there's more than just one or two things here. But again, I agree with you. I, I like the idea of doing stickers. Now, do do we need balls and 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 wax and like glitter and like no, I could do without it, that, you know. So. We don't yeah, need Jeff, all that. Jeff, uh, Jeffrey Wack, that's probably the one way I think we you'll you'll see it done. Uh, you, the sticker will never get on the bottle, but you could throw the sticker in the box, and then when it gets to yeah. the buyer, the purchaser, they have the option to put the the sticker on themselves. So well, and, and that's and that's become kind of an issue. Hey Ben, thanks. We we appreciate that very thanks, much. Ben. Um, but I I think that's one of the I think that's one of the deals is that even though that we get the sticker and you like want to put it on. I, I think that's just where like, like one of the issues were like, if like, I think with four roses saying that we have the ability now, if we don't like what it is you're doing, even putting a sticker on after the fact that we can suspend or, you know, not have you do barrel picks. So they're kind of holding that over people's head a little bit as well. So what's up Swami Swami's in the house, two wheels down. What's up buddy. How's it going? Nice to see you. If you guys like motorcycles, definitely go check out Two Wheels Down. Um, hey, Top Shelf Dustin's in the house. What's up, buddy? Have, have What's we up, told, have we have we told the story yet of what happened with Dustin on, on the Elijah Craig pick? No, no. Let's let's so, do let's do that. Then we'll do the uh, we'll do the we'll drive. Away. So yeah. so real quick, guys. So we're uh, so we had to so when we did the Elijah Craig barrel proof pick, we had to be at the distillery at uh, 10 a.m. And uh, so me and Scott arrive, and uh, Bobby from I Whiskey She Wines. Who helped us with the pick as well he came up and uh he he met up with us and then we're, we're sitting there waiting for uh waiting for dustin and um he goes he sends me a message saying i had to make a i'd make a stop and make a donation to the to the highway uh and i was like what the hell are you talking about <clears throat> and then he he sends a picture of a speeding ticket oh now, my god dustin drives normally extremely fast and apparently, unfortunately, he got caught. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. He got, so he got caught doing 90, what was it, 93 to 75? Yeah. 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 We're going to have to, we'll have to figure out what we can do. Like, I don't know how we're going to do it or if we so can put so, sneakers so on that's those. Actually, but... That's actually going to be the name of our Elijah Craig barrel proof pick. Or yeah. it's going to be uh, going going 90 in a 75. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, wish, I, think, I wish we I could get like a. Uh, yeah, I think what'll be better is we'll have we'll have Bobby as the cop on the on the sticker. <laughs> that would be good. That'd be a good one. All right. So I don't know if you guys saw this or whatever, but we'll have to run this a few minutes longer because not in the giveaway, but I had an Elijah Craig 18 of the drawing. Holy shit. All right. All right, All right Darrell. All right. If yeah. if that's honestly what you're gonna do, and I know you are a man of your word, and last week you were gracious enough to throw in a, a Blanton single barrel and people were happy, but if if that's the case. Let's run it for, I don't know, should we do it maybe another 10 minutes and get people get people in? Hey, you're going to get a chance at, well, we'll run two two drawings. We'll run one for the NASIF, which doesn't compete with the 18. Someone's going to get it. And then we'll run the second one, the randomizer, for somebody who's going to get the the EC18. So, I mean, thanks, brother. Uh, really, <laughs> really appreciate that. So get those get the super chats and stuff coming. This will get you, it's going to get you guys. Um, maybe what we'll do is we'll still keep everybody in the running since he's going to do a special bottle like that. We'll do, we'll do the, the NASA and the, and keep everybody in the running. So even though you win this, you'll still have the ability to, or opportunity to win that. So Darrell, thanks, man. I really That's awesome, man. Cheers, Darrell. That's a really, yeah, kind really, of you. yeah, that is very, very kind of you. So, all right, there you go, everybody. Get in on, uh, get in on that deal. So, Amy, get those, uh, get those fingers going now. I can't. I don't know how the hell anybody could do this and somehow try to keep up with super chats and and all of that. So, <laughs> there he is, my man Griff Howie, nine ninety nine super chat. Still can't figure out how to put any text in his uh, super chat stuff, but he'll uh, he'll figure that stuff out. Well, it's so. all right. He just gave you a little empty ball sack there. Yeah, he'll. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no one him. That's probably uh, uh, intention uh, by, on his part, knowing him. So um, there we go. M and J all day. Yep, Dave, I can, I can get down with that. That's that's some good stuff. That's so, awesome. um, what else we got here? Um, 
Brian Anderson, Elijah Craig, hell yeah. Everyone's coming in now. They want that EC18. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see how it is. Nobody wants my goddamn NASA, but all of a sudden <laughs> somebody throws in. No, I'm just kidding. But, man, Darrell, thank you. Thank you so much. I, I greatly appreciate it, and it was awesome, man. He threw in last week when we did it. He threw in um, uh, the – uh, Bland single barrel, and uh, I know I know people go crazy over all of that, but um, the Ernie Brubaker makers in the house. What's up? I can't even keep I can't even keep up with this stuff right now. It literally yeah, looks Brian like Vegas. Anderson, uh, the Brubaker maker says I'll make room on the shelf. Uh, yep, yeah, Brian Brian Toner in great show, guys. Um, hey, Todd Ritter's here. Any way to enter without giving to the YouTube thirty <laughs> percent? Not um, really. Not, I mean, not, I mean, you could send, send Scott. Yeah. A, you could send Scott a PayPal, but yeah, you could do PayPal. But I'd have to like figure out like my link and all that. It sounds like a lot of, sounds yeah. like a lot of, lot of trouble. But um, uh, so while we're waiting for that, do you mind if I plug a couple things? No, go right ahead. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. So tomorrow night uh, on the channel, we're having, um, we're having these guys on the channel, ASW out of Georgia. Doing some awesome things, by the way. Doing some awesome things out of Georgia. So uh, the Brewer Assistant Master Distiller is going to be coming on the channel tomorrow uh, tomorrow night talking all things ASW, craft distilling. Uh, the, you know, I want to kind of get into the nitty gritty on the state of the industry right now where he is and, you know, just bourbon and whiskey in, in Georgia. They're doing some crazy like double malts. And uh, so they're coming on the channel tomorrow night to talk. And then the following week, um, for any of you guys that also love scotch, uh, I know Scott, Scott's not a big scotch fan, but uh, <laughs> for me, um, one of my favorite distilleries in the world is Brook Lottie. And those are the guys that make the classic Lottie. They make the Octomores. They make the Isla Barley. Um, all, those, all those really just delicious, you know, scotches that I really love. Um, they're very transparent and they do a lot of different things when it comes to you know where they're sourcing their grains, the farms all throughout all throughout Isla to kind of get their all you know their different um, their different flavor profiles. So a while back uh, there was a there's a new uh, film called The Water of Life, which is a an incredible documentary that's focusing a lot not only on Isla and the business of uh, of uh, of single malt Scotch in Isla, but the the focus on, uh, you know, uh, Brook Lottie in general and the whole transition it went through and how it's kind of the lifeblood of uh, how Isla and, and Scotch is the, kind of the lifeblood of, of Isla overall. So uh, the director of that film will be on along with uh, Erica Whiskey, who is a, you know, she's not only a brand ambassador to Brook Lottie, but she uh she really knows her stuff. I mean, there's brand ambassadors, and then there's people like Erica who kind of go beyond that realm. She could she could kind of talk up, and she could give you all the information you ever want to know about Brook Lottie and the history and all that behind it. But the director of the Water of Life will be on, and we're going to be offering up for everybody a chance to purchase a uh, an online ticket to watch the movie wow. uh, before it actually comes out uh, later in the year. So, uh, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, it, it's going to be really cool. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be on a live stream this Friday with the director, with Greg. Uh, I'll post that in Patreon and, and market that as well. But well, it's that's not even one of those. That, I mean, that's really honestly one of those things where you don't even have to be in, in the scotch. I mean, that's just the, the, the history of whiskey and that, that's a cool thing, you know, in, yeah, it's in, an, it's in an of itself. I mean, it's an incredible movie. I mean, and it's, I cannot wait. We'll have, we'll have a representative from Brook Lottie, I think is going to be recording a message for us as well. Uh, just kind of talking about, you know, what they got going on. We'll have a discount for some uh, Brook Lottie bottles uh, available as well. If anyone wants to try and uh, sip along after the fact, but awesome. yeah. So in, in a couple of weeks, it's going to be just a really, really amazing show. So for anybody, I'm going to be sharing the link in the, in the show with, Scotch test dummies and Scotch four dummies and Aqua Vitae and all those different audiences that might be interested in uh, in getting in on you know getting some access to this film to watch because it's incredible. So that'll be that'll be yeah that'll be that'll be very different, unique, and and cool. So yeah, good yep. good good to hear you're doing something like that. So 
Yeah. All right. Cheers, John. Let me go through some of these other ones. Uh, Jen Ortolito. Thanks, Jen. I appreciate it. The uh, better half of Cheech. Oh, <laughs> uh, gotta always stay on the uh, the woman's good side. So I learned I learned that a long time ago as a married man. So very good, Big man. Vic. Thanks. So. Yeah, man, Darrell, I can't even say thanks again. So, I mean, anybody who wants a shot, I'll probably run this thing for, let's say, another six minutes or something. We'll go to go to 9.15. Yeah, let's go to, uh, yeah, 8.15, 9.15, depending on where you are. And, uh, yeah, we'll run it. So get your super chats. And then also Griff Howie from CigarClub.com was nice enough to throw a box of something in. I think it's only appropriate to put the cigar and the, the EC18 together. So whoever wins that one, We'll uh, we'll package those two things together. I think that'll be a cool a cool giveaway. So guys, thanks for uh, thanks for all that. Greatly appreciate it. So very right, cool. Uh, what else we got here? Um, yeah. So I guess all I guess we'll we'll talk a little bit maybe for a couple minutes. So mash and journey stuff. If anybody again wants in on this, our okay. four gate stuff. So I know there's a link in here. Let me post it again and. Uh, as of, as of today, there were only, there were only a few left, I think. Yeah. We only so, have a handful of the picks left. So, yeah. And let's see, uh, let me yeah, put the, you, yeah, I just saw you dropped it in there. Yep. It is, it is still password protected. So, yep. Um, that is one of the things yeah, I saw. Cheech, so. uh, Cheech, Cheech just dropped it in the, in the chat. So we're good. Okay, good. All right. Thanks Cheech. Yeah. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so we've got that stuff coming. So hopefully everybody who's ordered will start to get their bottles within, I don't know, the next week. I know one guy before, I forget who it was, said that there his was already shipped, which is yeah. cool. So, yeah, um, yeah they'll, they'll be getting them out fast and furious. But if anyone wants uh, any of the, I think we're down to about 13 or 12 bottles now. Is that what it was? Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I figured I figured it had to be like in the in the low teens based on what we had even yesterday. So yeah. Um, so it's um yeah, it's it's people will have it in hand real soon. I'm really excited for everyone to try it. Yeah. It's again, guys, it's a toasted rye. So the more the more air it gets into it, I'm telling you guys, whoever ordered a bottle, whoever got who got a bottle of this stuff, you know, try it in the beginning, but then I shit you not, what you should do is Pour some in the glass, you know, a good amount like that, and just leave it overnight and then come back in the morning and then smell it. Holy shit. All this yeah. stuff. All this stuff comes out of it. The graham cracker, the chocolate, the toasted marshmallow, like this um, like this really like roasted almond note comes out yeah. of it. It's crazy. It's crazy. It, it, really, it really is a nice whiskey. And again, with that toasted barrel – as that thing opens up, and again, for me, it seems to happen more with toasted barrel stuff, especially on rye, but it'll get, it'll really change for you. I can guarantee you that. So it, it's, it's a great, it's a great base rye already, eight year MGP that they threw in a toasted barrel, a new toasted barrel for what, 32 days, something like that. Yeah. So Forrest, thank you so much. Appreciate it. You are, uh, you're in both, in both runnings. Katie Turk, the boss. Thanks, Katie. I appreciate it. Hopefully, you're uh hopefully your man Ethan. Hopefully you're keeping him down somewhere. You stuffed him under the under the couch or something. I don't know what you, <laughs> what you do, but that guy needs to be disciplined, I'll tell you that. Um, what else we got? So, all right, a couple more minutes. Anybody wants in on the NASF and the Elijah Craig 18? Hey Scott, um, are you are you clicking different super chats? Because only one is the only. No, I, I just left there. it up so people knew what that oh, okay. was. So right. I was just mentioning anybody who super chatted. Um, Katie, yeah. Yep, yeah, I just left that up there because I couldn't change the. Uh, well, I guess I could, but then I have to lean way over and get in your guy's face. I was too lazy to do it, but. So God I'm just going to mention. Lean, God, God forbid he leans for everyone. Yeah, I didn't want to get. I didn't want to get all up in your business and stuff like that. All so. right, I all right, I lean. This is where I need uh this is where I need like a a secondary moderator. Like I need my wife down here with me to kind of handle all the other business. So come on, but, Eileen. Yes. Uh, so again, so yeah, we'll be in another whatever 45 minutes, we'll be over on Zoom. So if anyone's part of Patreon, then uh you guys will have in grab your rye three bottles. We're doing the tasting uh tonight. So we're looking forward uh, to that. So Wade Ward, did you guys see that seal box released? A four gate eight year old rye, 113 proof. Yeah, that's uh that's this one right here. That is yeah, the that's, river. That's the river Kelvin well, Rye. That's the one they just released today. 
Yep. Is that batch 13? It was batch 13. Yep. Aged eight years. I was, yep. uh, Bill gave me this, uh, when I was in Kentucky doing uh, with my mom, I uh, met up with him and he's like, hey, this isn't out yet. Why don't you yep. try it? I tried this on the channel last uh, last week on Wednesday night. And while it's a delicious, really, really good rye, you know, to me, I don't think it's worth a $200 price tag. Um, I just think there's too many good ryes now to pay that type of money for an eight-year rye. Even though yeah. it's really – I mean, if you're an MGP rye enthusiast, yeah, go ahead. You'll absolutely love this. Yeah. But, you know, for $200, I think where Four Gate shines, and I said this last week, is when they do their special finishing on stuff. Yeah. So, like the yeah. Ruby Rye Springs, I'll spend $200 on that all day. But this, yeah. but this, uh, it's really good, but not so much. Yeah, and I think that's, you know, and that's the difference. So, I mean, that's basically our base rye, but with the toasted aspect. I mean, the toasted part of it makes it, makes it a completely different whiskey. So, that's the one thing that, I mean, even 32 days doesn't sound like very long, but I'll tell you what, it, it makes a, it makes an incredible, an incredible difference. It's night and day. So yeah, they, yeah, they did a Ethan Turk seal box at a toasted bourbon. Yeah. I think uh, most of the ones that have been released so far, uh, ours was the only rye so far. I think that's dropped. The other ones have all been there. The toasted. Yeah, the, and the other ones are, I think of six year old bourbons. We have, yeah. we have the only rye and we have the oldest at eight years. So yeah. Yeah. Yep, so all right, so we're um, – all right, let's do it. So it's uh, we're an hour and 16 minutes in, 8.16. All one right, more man, minute. Uh, you got, are you going to give away the, the NASIF now? Yeah, you got a one-minute shot clock. Anybody who wants in on NASIF or uh, or the EC18, now is your, your final chance because when it hits on my end, when it shows an hour and 17 minutes, you got 40 seconds right now. So get in if do you it. haven't done anything. Do it. And, do and then it. we'll uh, – We'll do it. So, uh, so Amy, if you can, unless there's somebody else that comes in the last second here, do it. Um, give me the to it. <laughs> Get, I'm gonna have, to, I'm gonna have, to, I'm gonna have to mute this guy here real quick. But uh, so, if you can give me the total number, and then uh, Jace, I'll have you run a randomizer just to make sure we're not uh, we're not pulling any shenanigans or anything. All right, yeah, I'll do that. All right, Amy, what do you got? What do, do you it. got? Do it. <laughs> Give give Finkel some Binkle. Do it. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Uh, oh man. You're, you're too much. Yeah. Have you guys done a new little pick or are you going to be doing one? No, we haven't. The new little picks, I feel like, you know, there a lot of them are out there and they yeah. haven't they haven't really done anything. Like they're doing toasted rise too, but you know. Ours was a, uh, you know, I think it's nice that we were able to get a nice eight-year MGP. I think their stuff's a little younger. They're doing five and six years. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, I feel like oh, one through 46. Yeah, one know. through 46. Oh, I don't know why I can't. Uh, oh, there we go. There you go. Okay, so we'll do we'll do two of them. So the first one will be for the, for the NASIF, and then the second one will be for the Elijah Craig 18 and the uh, CigarClub.com. Uh, box. I'm sure they'll probably send out one of their their monthly boxes and stuff in that one. So uh, again, everybody, you know, thanks for joining tonight. Greatly appreciate it. I love interacting. Jace, thanks for coming on for a little while. Um, yeah, man. So all right, let's do the first one. We'll do. Uh, we'll ask uh, either Google or. I'm gonna, or ask, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask the Google machine. All right, one through forty six. Here we go. <laughs> Sugar Kitty said, "I turned into the Budweiser frogs." <laughs> 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 nice. Bud was okay. Uh what is it? One through forty six, you said? Yeah, one through forty six. All right, I got you. Here we go. Pick a number between one and forty six. Here it comes. Forty three. Forty three. All right. Who is number forty three, Aim? Who do we got? Give it to us, Amy. Boom. The legend. I yes, think and, home, def and, home, and, def and definitely check out definitely check out cigarclub.com. So, oh, yeah. so if 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 anybody if anybody wants a link, I can save you thirty percent. If anyone does, just shoot me an email. I'll get you a link for uh thirty percent off of a uh, subscription. There. No, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have a cigar tonight. I'm in the mood. That sounds good. I wish I was there. I'd have one with you. Um, <laughs> Katie Turk, the Turkster. All right, Katie. Katie right. Turk, what'd you say? And I think she just and okay, I think they just bought. I think her and Ethan actually just bought some uh 
bought some NASA. So now you get batch nine. So I think they had other ones like 11 or 12 or something like that. So, all right. Congrats, Katie. Congrats, Katie. That's, That's awesome. awesome. All right. So you're still in it. So we're still, you can still, you can still win this thing. So, um, what do we got here? All oh, right. oh, here's a, here's an interesting one real quick. We haven't even really talked about this. A Magnus pick. I know there's a few of them. They did it for a little while, but that could be a fun option. Maybe, maybe next year or something. I'll message, uh, I'll message Nancy Fraley. See what she says. Yeah. Well, what the hell? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I may as well go right to the source for crying out loud. So. Yeah, no, she, yeah, the, it's it's all it's it's totally different when you're kind of dealing with barrel picks. You kind of have to go to the barrel manager, not really the distiller, because they don't you know they don't really deal with that. So yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. So look at uh, look, look at that's look a good at idea. Ethan. I gotta write that one down. Look at, look at Ethan already taking credit for winning. He's trying to take Katie's bottle already from her. Score. Yeah. Who the hell Katie, said you Katie, have it? Katie, when you crack that open, you can't. Ethan doesn't get – you have no. to have the first three pours of it, then let Ethan get it. Yeah, yeah. don't give him any of it. <laughs> you, you, he's Jason, Jason's nicer than I am. He said you could have some of it. I say none of it. Okay. Yeah, so. call prescri prescription bourbon. Yeah, I'm going to call Nancy on the Fraley phone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Kind of like yeah. the bat phone. I just call, hey, just, uh, Nancy, you want to whip up a pick for us? Thank you. What do you, what do you think her phone looks like? Do you think it's just like a clear, like a, a clear plastic phone that just has like a lot of bourbon in it? No, I think because she's like been smoking pipes now. I think like her phone is built into her pipe, so she just yeah, takes I'd, like she takes a little inhale and then she's like, "Yeah, hello, what's up? How yeah, you doing? I'd like to, <laughs> I'd like, I'd like to, I'd like to hang out with Nancy. Oh hell yeah, man! Oh man! All right, so here we go. Here's the uh, the big uh, the big drum roll. So we've got again oh, the Elijah you. Craig. Thanks to Darrell, we got the Elijah Craig 18 and the CigarClub.com pack. So oh shit, okay, here we go. Good stuff. Here we go. Fingers crossed, everyone. All right. Pick a number between one and 46. Here's a random number, 25. 25. All Good right. Old 25, baby. All right. Who do we got? Who's the big two five? Uh, Amy Bohm said, hold, please. It's a it, holding, holding, <laughs> holding. Paging Mr. Herman, Mr. <laughs> Herman. Paging. Holding. <laughs> uh, Katie that was from, wasn't that from Braveheart? Hold, hold. I don't know what you're talking about. My wife probably wonders what in the hell I'm doing right now, but. Amy Bohm, no freaking with number 25 is Ethan Turk. No, <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh my god, the no look at way. This. Look at the freaking the Turksters are just showing up tonight. I bet you. Well, okay, here'd be a good question. Will the will the Turks be twerking after this monumental win tonight? Wait, since since they already won the Nassif, does Ethan want to try to give that up for someone else, or do they want that bottle? I'm just saying. That's a lot of whiskey going. That's a lot of whiskey going to one address. It, it is. <laughs> I, mean, it's, I mean, unless I mean they could, if they choose to, I guarantee you they're not giving up the Elijah Craig. No, I doubt they are. Yeah, but they can. Yeah, the Turk twerk. Yeah, Ethan, if you, uh, Ethan, if you guys want to keep it. Yeah, yeah, it's no, it's no big deal. I mean, hey, yeah, you guys, hey, you want it? You guys are in it to win it. We get it. This is all. <laughs> this is all crazy. random. Crazy. Those guys are gonna be high fiving all night tonight. Well, <laughs> Look at look at Griff. Please refund my nine ninety nine. Uh, Katie Katie said, "If they are both us, please give the NASIF to someone else." Okay, all right. Well, that's that's okay. awesome. They, they they are both they are both you guys. So uh, okay, so that's it's up that's to you. Really, that's really cool because if they already have bottles of it already, then maybe someone yeah. else that hasn't had a NASIF can grab one. Okay, right, so but the, he, but the Turks, the Turks are getting the EC eighteen. So yes, yeah, they are getting the e, the EC eighteen, and they're getting the uh, the cigarclub.com stuff. So all right, we're, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna pull a different number for the NASA family. Resort. All right, since the Turks are awesome, you guys get one more run at this yeah. thing. So give it up for the Turks. That's that's yes. how you share, baby. That's how you share it. That is all right. Sip, let's go. Sip, don't sip, don't flip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. Pick a number between one and 46. All right. Who's the uh, lucky number three winner here? 
Then we're going to 15. Number 15. All right. All right. Who we got, Aim? Holding. Eight. Boom. Holding. Isn't that from uh from uh, old school when he's on the rings and he's going still? Home. I don't know. Like still was home. it? I thought of like in I thought in Braveheart when he was like ahead of all those people and they all wanted to go and he's like holding them back. But I, I think I think he does that too. Yeah, but I'm I, that made me think of uh he's like smoking a cigarette when he's on the rings. Uh, Vince oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Yeah. Number fifteen, Cheech. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he wanted it. He wanted it so bad too. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, Cheech. There you go, brother. Cheech oh, Adelino man. nailed it. It's awesome. This is this is why we do these things. I mean, it's not even about like all of the the money part of it. It just gets everybody involved. And I mean, it's. <laughs> It's a, it's an awesome, it's an awesome way to do these things and get people things that you can't get or whatever it may be. So awesome. 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 So, all right, Cheech, we'll, uh, we'll make sure and get that way. Um, I know, uh, Ethan and Katie, they've got my information already. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll make arrangements to get that stuff to you. I'll, I'll let Darrell know. And Darrell, thank you, man. Thanks so much for, for poning up, uh, an Elijah Craig 18. Nobody was expecting that. So thank you very, very much. That was, that was awesome of you. Can't, can't say thanks uh, enough for, for that. Um, everybody for being in tonight. Hey, here's the thing. If you're not part of the mash and journey whiskey club and you want to become, you can become a patron of myself or Jason, either one of us. And that gets you into basically the running for the picks that we have uh, coming up and a lot of yeah, good we stuff. Got some, we got, we got a lot of, interesting plans for next year guys so uh, yeah and th these aren't again i know we kind of harp on this but these aren't just picks we're turning down picks at points because it's either yeah. been done we don't feel like it's interesting enough we're trying to bring stuff that's really unique stuff that's yeah. really interesting and stuff that not only that we want to drink but stuff that you guys want to drink so um yeah yeah so if it's if that sounds like something you like then definitely uh just you know just Become a patron. You're in the club, and uh, you know the four gate pick dropped over the weekend. We sold. By the time everything was done, we only had about 28 bottles left. It went. They went real fast. Yeah. Um, so uh, I think there's only yeah there's only about 10, 12, or 13 left right now. So um, yeah. So uh, yeah. So no, we're we're looking, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. I mean, like like Jason said. I mean, we're. We're, we're having to like really sift through things that we want to do and, and either turn stuff down or postpone it for later on, because I mean, we're, we're just not willing to kind of like oh, you know, yeah. compromise or we, we want, we want some things. So, all right. So here's yeah. one other thing before we go out. Yep. Yeah. So, so what Adriana is doing on the 20th, um, I think she's going to, I got to find out more details, but I think she's probably going to auction off bottles and all of that yep. for, for that. Yep. So we'll, We'll we'll make sure one way or another to get something you know in on on that deal and um and yeah just run a I don't know, maybe we could do a I know we're gonna have some picks and stuff coming up but if maybe we can either do one or a combo of a a mash and journey pick and throw that in for her June twentieth uh oh absolutely I'm I'm already you. willing to throw one of my four gate picks in there for the for yeah the bottle auction but yeah six twenty I know uh, I already know Bourbon Bites Cliff is gonna be jumping on there helping out uh. Whiskey Mountains, uh, I think I'm going to be able to jump on as well. But, yeah, this is a, a huge fundraiser for an amazing cause. Yeah. Um, I think, actually, Cliff had the cool idea to bring whiskeys to the table that makes you remember uh, different things about, you know, that brings back good memories, which is, yeah. I think, you know, it, it's a good – it's a good contrast to what people with Alzheimer's experience. So, um, yep. yeah, we'll, we'll definitely – are the details for the four gate lock on Patreon? Uh, yeah, they're all there, Logan. So the link is still up on Patreon if you're interested in grabbing one, Logan. Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah. And, yeah re and remember, it is password protected. So it's M and J barrel. So M and then the and sign J barrel will be the, uh, will be so the yeah. password. So, guys, mark your calendars for 620 for that fundraiser, and I will see you there. Yep. That'll be awesome. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. Darrell, thank you so much for the Elijah Craig 18. That was incredibly awesome of you. Uh, thank you so much. So in another, what, half hour, we'll be doing the the Zoom. The link is in my Patreon. It's in Jason's. So just go and check out our posts. Those are, are in there. If you, if you, hey, if you don't have a Rye 3 and you want to join us, come on in. We'll, 
you you guys can get in, but it's it's for the patrons yeah, only. Yeah, we're, we're doing a Zoom hangout. We're gonna open up our Rye Threes or Taste Through with everybody, and we're just gonna hang out and uh, have a good time. So, yep, we'll uh, we'll be looking we'll be looking forward to seeing everybody. So, all right, everybody, thanks for uh, thanks for joining next week or next week. Thanks for joining tonight, <laughs> and uh, yeah, next week I, I like doing some of these kind of just the fun ones and just shooting the shit and getting people on and just having a good time. So. Uh, these are a lot of fun, but yeah, everybody, thank you so much for the super chats. Uh, Turks, awesome. Cheech, awesome. Glad you guys won these things. We'll make sure to get all the stuff off to you guys uh, ASAP. Amy, thank you so much for uh, for keeping track of all that stuff. I uh, we greatly appreciate it. Probably should send you something as well. But and Darrell, thanks, brother. Thank you so much. So, all right, guys, we will see you next Tuesday. And um, yeah, remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. No, your tagline. <laughs> what? I'm trying to say it's about the journey. Not, okay, I see channel. what you did. I see what you did. <laughs> okay, I see what you did there. Sorry. Sorry. All right, on that note, see, look at JC. Just in here screwing up my whole stream and everything. Really I'll tell you. I'll give you can't even, can't even. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Thanks, uh, thanks for having fun tonight. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Cheers, guys. We'll see you.